So first of all, uh, we, we, we need to open our schematic editor. Uh, we will open a new um, schematic. So once it's open, on the left side we have uh, all the, the libraries that, that we have and one of them is the microread and you can you can check by the, the microread folder so once you click on it you have other folders uh, that uh, further specify the, the components available in this uh, library uh, thus you can click on each folder and see what we have so this is a, a growing library um, and with every release not only improvements on the existing uh, components uh, are, are given to, to users, but uh, all, also new uh, components are added uh, to this library. So uh, the idea is that you have uh, a lot of options to build your microgrid uh, with these. So today we're we're using the diesel gen set. So basically the the only thing you need to do at, the, at first is to uh, drag and drop so you just click and let it uh, on, on the schematic so we have it there and now we need to we want to, to do a very simple um, model that, that we will use to test this so basically we will we'll connect this to, to a source just representing a very stiff grid. So uh, we're going to use the three-phase voltage source for that. So dragging and dropping, uh, flipping the component and connecting. And uh, now we're almost good to go. The only thing that we need to do now is to, to connect the, the inputs uh, to this uh, diesel gen set. The inputs are basically the, what, what controls uh, the diesel gen set. What are the references uh, that it needs to operate? Uh, and, and how do you know that, this reference? What, how do you know what you have to, to give to this model? So the, the easiest and first, fastest way to know what, what, what you have is to double click on the model. And uh, this mask pops up and you can read uh, on the second line that uh, this block actually accepts nine inputs and uh, these are all the inputs that you, you, you have to, to provide and you have to provide in the, the following order. Um, so it, it's important, it's helpful for you that you actually uh, check uh, the names and, and try to to, to use these names as, as written here um, because of reasons that uh, we're, we're going to show in the future that, so that it becomes easier for you uh, to, to interface with this uh, model when, when running the simulation. Uh, the same way as the inputs, you have the, the outputs, uh, so the description of, of all of them. But some of these inputs can, uh, can be a little bit uh, confused just by the name. For example, the, the input number uh, six, um, it's a gen set control mode. And like, okay, but what does this control mode mean? And it can be um, confused and you don't know actually what you need to provide. So to, to know that, you can click on the help button uh, on the mask and it will open uh, this HTML file. Um, and, and in this file, you can actually find all the description that you need to uh, know to, to, to use this, this component properly. So for example, if we scroll down to the diesel gen set inputs, uh, we, we can see that gen control mode, the, the input number six, is actually a three level input uh, that define the, the, the operation, operation mode of the gen set. So it can be zero, meaning meaning uh, VF, so it, it will control voltage and frequency, it can be one, uh, so it controls 
active power in, in voltage or PPF, two meaning PPF, so control active power and power factor. So this is how, how you understand what you need to provide and what, what, what it will do to your model. On the right side we have the inputs and now I'll build it uh, on the schematics. So basically when we say inputs, it can be scalar inputs, it can be inputs coming from uh, other parts of your schematic. So for example, you could even uh, connect a Modbus uh, interface device, so you can actually con connect a microgrid controller implemented uh, in a HIO hardware and through Modbus you can actually control this uh, software component, this, this diesel genset. Uh, right now we're using the SCADA inputs, so I'm just dragging and drop SCADA inputs and uh, I'll name it like, so okay, gen on. That's the first one. And uh, I will connect it through a bus joint. And uh, we know that there are nine inputs, so I'll put this as a size nine. So Genon is a zero, so it's the first one. And uh, the second one is VREF. And that's how we go. Okay, so we could keep on going and this, this would be fine, but at, at this moment I would like to show you that you actually don't need to, to build this manually every time you want to, to use um, a microgrid library component. What you can do uh, is use one example that we provided where all these inputs are already given, so it's a shortcut for you. And how to access that example, so basically go to file and open example model then go to microgrid so in this microgrid folder you have many examples uh, and among these examples you have uh, unit test examples by unit test we mean that we have one uh, component from the microgrid library implemented in a very simple model where you can like, quickly put it to run so for example, the diesel genset, that, that's the one we're dealing with. If we open it, uh, this is the model. So we have these two uh, boxes here on top. And uh, if you look inside, you have already all the inputs uh, placed uh, with the correct name. Um, and uh, the correct order connected to the bus. So whenever you're using a diesel gen set, you can actually copy this block to, to your model. So this is the, the shortcut, it's much easier for you uh, to use. And it has some other advantages that I'll show uh, when we're dealing uh, with SCADA. Uh, one interesting also is that if you double click, you can read that this is uh, input for the diesel gen set of the microgrid library and that you have the you can define the execution rate so it's very easy also to to put them to to the same execution rate uh, and to connect to the this gen set uh, the output in this case is very simple it's just a probe uh, but this is also to make it easier to connect with the SCADA interface